Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I want to discuss about Laravel 12. Lar as you already know, Laravel 12 is recently just a uh, release. And now in this video, I want to discuss about that Laravel 12, what is exactly the new things is added in Laravel 12. In this video, step by step, I will cover everything. I hope you will like it very much. So into the if you go to that laravel.com first things you will notice they are actually updated that ux design which is really really interactive okay so i do i personally do like it so much they are updated their um, ux design and they have some of the uh, framework how many framework is there there is a mr kit and there's a packages product so everything actually before just like the same but only ux design is little bit changes and also they're introducing another deployment mode from the git repository now you can able to actually up deploy your project into the laravel there are all also another website is a cloud.laravel.com from here you can actually deploy it and right that then rest of everything is the same only in the ux design is little bit changes so if you actually <laughs> noticed everything you can actually notice everything into this our read documentation and into the read documentation personally i have actually checked multiple things and personally i think that there have the no major changes in laravel 11 or laravel 12 so if you already uh, know about that laravel 9 10 or 11 especially if you already know that 11 they have the nothing major changes in laravel 12 they have the few changes which things i want to uh, discuss about that things with you here actually you will if you go to that your packages into the packages if you noticed they have the no packages for the jd stream and the breeze and throughout that jd stream breeze we are set up all that our default authentication and here actually you noticed it they have the no option for this package it doesn't mean that you cannot able to use that jd stream or the breeze for your authentication it doesn't mean that you cannot able to use it you can actually still now use the breeze and also you can still now use the jd stream as i told you they have the nothing new I personally i actually check it they have the nothing new that is in, in laravel at 12 if you already know that all functionality with the laravel 11 all the structure middleware setup each and everything just like the same and that will be also for the laravel 12 so that is pretty much the same things only here they are actually removing that both of these packages it because of all they are introducing another things if you go to that getting started and into the getting started that is our started a kit and into this started kit area they are actually now available their authentication throughout that react throughout that view or rather than the liveware you will be well understand more if you go to that site as a laravel.com slash starter and then kit and into this starter kit area they are now actually opening uh, with our three of these packages one is the react uh, started kit view started kit and also the library started kit and here actually when you install it then you can able to use this type of the interface like i show you if you go to that live preview into the live preview area here that will be our laravel 12 interface and into this interface area that is actually locking you can see there is a locking will be ready made like that way into the breeze actually that is a different right but right now that will be actually ready made if you go to the register register will be like that way and also if you go to that view that will be the same okay that will be also the same that is a locking you will be able to get it and uh, this will be actually ready-made if you go to the register register will be ready-made okay so here you don't need to separately install one of the package uh, if or if you want to access it throughout our that is the starter kit so that is actually the main update <laughs> actually i noticed uh, if you actually now install it like that way automatically you have you can, will get that authentication that is will be actually authentication and in this authentication area if you want to create another new one like i name it as a kazi i name it as a kazi 111 okay or 111 112 and i just put some of the password i just create on the new user what type of dashboard they will be provided i show you click as a sorry that will be as a at gmail.com now this type of one of the name i want to use it now create it now you can see that will be actually the dashboard 
So you, as you notice, there is a little bit different dashboard in here. From here, you can actually manage the setting, the setting functionality, which also provided into the breeze. But now that is actually different for the view, for the React, and also another will be for the live wire. Okay, so everything is just like the same. I think as I told you now that is actually major if you notice there's major changes that will be actually the major changes so now I want to share that things with you how can handle it with the breeze and now if you go and into these positions if you want to install on the new Laravel project you can also go to that uh, installation and into this installation the create an application and into this app create application area first of all you have to do you have to run that composer global required and Laravel installer first things is we have to do we have to install it better i show you i copy it in my desktop i have created one of the folder as a laravel and also right now i am using the pc version 8.2.4 if you go to that my pc admin go to that add the database and here i want to create another database as a lara okay lara 12 now this time of the database i want to create it now click as a create that is a new database is successfully created and then I want to go back to that our um, code that means in installation and here first things we have to run it I copy it and now in particular that folder that is a Laravel folder here I want to create another new project I name it as a CMD and then here I want to then install it I click as a enter now that will be download everything from to the internet okay and also it may take little time and then that will be download everything from to the internet and here you can see that is totally completed which is really really fast and now I want to do I want to install it that means I want to create another new project I copy it and now our next part will be here into the CMD in particular that folder area I want to run it and that will be actually your project name like I just name it as a text okay I'll test Laram 12 or Lara 12 okay I just name it as a text Lara 12 now click as a enter now that will be created on the new Laravel project by the name as a um, test Lara 12 and also X will be ask you some of the question and as I told you there is a different type of automatically started kit is in here as a react view and liveware so if you select it as a react and then you have to write down in here as a react so when you select it as a react and after that if you install it you don't need to install a different type of authentication separately you can automatically that will be created your default authentications like that way but here if you want to don't want to use that default start kit if you want to install that laravel breeze how can do this work I will show you so in that case we have to use it only the non I want to use it as a non and when you use it as a non so that will be actually not insert and that means created any type of default authentication system that will be created on the simple fresh Laravel project so now I make it as a non now click as a enter now that will be asked everything that will be created that means our project is created by the name as a test lara 12 and now if you go to that our folder here you can see it's now created this folder and now that will be actually download everything from to the internet and also it may take little time so i want to pause that video when that will be done i will come back again and then it will be ask you another question that will be and the which database will your application use so right if you want to use that sqlite you can select it as a sqlite i now i want to use it as a mysql so i write down as a mysql okay that will be as a mysql i want to do and write down it now click as a enter now that will be ask you the default database updated would you like to run the default database migration here i make it as a yes now that will be uh, install our one of the default one and now it's actually created one of the database you can see that that is actually cre automatically created one of the database as a test laravel 2 and does not exist on your mysql connection would you like to create it or the if you make it as a yes then that will be actually created this one and now i want to do i want to go back to that our project folder that means that is a clear project folder here i want to this take this project into the a sublink text editor here I simply take it and now if you go to the dot env and into the env area here actually if you go 
and here that is actually mysql right now we are using and database is actually created as a test laravel 12 i want to do and to go back to that our database and into this database it's actually created you can see automatically created as a test laravel 12 that is also migration all that laravel default table is in here Okay, so here actually I have set up it like that way. So here I make it as a yes. So if you make it as a no, then whatever the database I have actually created before in here, into the database I have created one of the database as a Lara 2. Then that will be actually can actually configure it in here. But right now that is by default is created as a Lara test, that is a test Laravel 12. And also migration is successfully created okay so that is the things i have done it in here and now it's fine and it's display another questions as would you like to run npm install and the npm run build i make it as a yes default they are accessing as a yes i make it as a enter that means the answer is the yes now that will be installed that npm and the npm run build now i you have to wait a little bit and you can see npm install is successfully done and everything is totally set up great now if you run it uh, our folder now i want to do i want to better close it okay from here i want to close it and now i want to go back to that our application i want to go back to that our folder and in here if you now make it as a cmd and then i want to run it as a php artisan and then the serve now click as a enter now that is actually our one of the port port is display here i copy it now i want to run this project click as enter now you can see laravel is successfully installed now we are using that laravel latest version laravel 12 and if you go to that our configure file that means if you go to that our composer and into the composer as you see the laravel we are using as a 12.0 great but here actually the difference right here i am using that selected as a uh, our non and that is the reasons it's only install that laravel there have the no authentication but if you actually select it as a react or the view or the live wire then you, you will also you will get this type of one of the authentication and that is a logging authentication for the view and react you will you will be automatically actually get it so that is the only difference in here but now in particular that project i want to do i want to install that laravel breeze how you can do this work in that case we have to actually flow our old version like if you go to that our laravel 11 in here and in particular that position if you go to that our packages in here actually you will get that laravel breeze breeze related everything you will be able to actually access it from here then that will be the same process so i have already write down everything better on to copy it like here first of all you have to run it as a composer required laravel breeze for the dev i copy it and now i want to go back to that our project folder in here from i want to install another one i open it the cmd and now here one another one is running with the php addition serve in here now and to do and to first of all install the breeze as a composer required and then laravel breeze and then dev now that is downloaded everything and also it's um, it may take little time and here it's successfully done right here you can see it's very light is successfully done and then we have to make it as a php addition breeze installation the same process will be executed here and now that will be actually created some of the folder in particular that position as a auth and then in our route area web that will be also updated some of the another uh, things which just like uh, we have done it into the laravel 11 same things i show you now i want to done to install it php artisan breeze install now click as enter now it will be ask you which one you want to visible in install i want to install obviously as a blade i name it as a blade now click as enter i make it as a no and then yes okay that means paste i want to select it now that will be updated our composer json everything will be happening in particular that position just like that <laughs> laravel 11 so now it will be installed and uh, secure information it should be take little time here you can see so everything is running successfully is download everything from to the internet make that sure you are connected with the internet okay so now that will be actually generated some of the folder in your project okay when this scaffolding will be completed automatically that will be generated some of the folder and you can see folder is successfully created now it's created in our resources if you go to that view and it's created one of the folder as a auth 
that will become created the component the layout okay and you can see our web.php it's now added some of the extra route so there is a middleware is ready and in our http controller auth is created all that our authentication session controller the password the register same as laravel <laughs> 11 so now your total project is become laravel 11 project but now we are using laravel 12 as i told you they have the no major changes actually for um, from to the laravel 11 to the laravel 12 the same functionality so if you already know the laravel 11 so it's totally fine for you nothing changes in here and now if you, i have already installed it and after that if you go to that our project and now if you refresh it hmm, you can see our locking is successfully visible and register is successfully visible that means our both of these is successfully updated that means we successfully able to install that laravel breeze and now from here if you go to that logging breeze is successfully installed for the our our that is our locking page if you go to that register that will be actually registered now here we are using laravel breeze but when you install that our startup that, is, that means the startup kit then that will actually display uh, this type of one of the interface so that is a different type of interface okay that is the default one startup one and that is actually our laravel breeze and if that's laravel breeze here we successfully done it and now if you want to register on the new user i name it as a user user and i just name it as a user at the rate gmail.com and then password and to put it the password and now if you click as a register now there is a new register is successfully created okay so that is a <laughs> breeze um, dashboard and if you now go to that our database into the database name as a by the project name is automatically generated now if you go to that our user table then you can see there is a new table that is a new data uh, for the user is successfully created okay friend and rest of everything if you already know the laravel breeze functionality now if you want to change that theme if you want to change that um if you want to add some of the template the process and file structure will be just like the same that is a view that is our main welcome page that means in our font into welcome page and for the authentication that is a logging page that is a register page forget password page so rest of everything will be just like the same okay I hope uh, it is very clear to you now if you want to do continue with the laravel 12 with the laravel breeze you can also able to install that laravel breeze or either then if you want want to install with the starter kit then you can also able to start continue with this so that is the simple installation process for accessing the laravel 12 and nothing new nothing is very complicated everything i think very clean code in here i hope this video will help you a lot so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.